So what school are we at here today? This is the East Career and Technical Academy. Over in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas. Okay, and you're the principal. Right. And if I can ask, what, what is your name? Glenda. Okay, Glenda Glenda. tell me a little bit about your program and kind of what's going on here. Well, we have eight programs. Okay. And this is going to take a while as we walk. Sure. Um, but we, uh, Northwest opened probably seven years ago. Okay. And then we were right after Northwest and we opened. We are, we've been in existence now for six years. And where do they get the money for this? Is st um, substantial amount of money and layout for all this? It, it is a substantial amount of money and it came from Bond Bunny. It okay. was the last schools to be built with the last Bond okay. um, money. Um, I would have to give a lot of kudos to our then superintendent, Walt Ruffles. Okay. It was his idea. He pushed it out. Yeah. And all of the, well, I'd say all of the last schools except one that I know of. That, all right. So before we go and take a look at your programs, what are the programs that you offer here? We have eight programs. Okay. Um, we're standing by the education lab that I'm going to show you. Okay. And um, we have um, a medical program, right. construction. Auto, IT, electronics, marketing, and culinary. Um, but wow. we, what we do here is our, so we have the preschool lab and our juniors run that. And then in the senior year, they, um, we partner with um, elementary schools or middle schools okay. or in the area. Sure. And the first semester, again, they continue to learn more um, uh, curriculum and, and, and they take courses in teaching. So will most of your kids be preschool teachers, school to career, after their senior year they'll be, they'll have a job? Is that their goal or a lot of these kids will go on? Well in their senior year then they like student teach. Okay. So they get a, a flavor for uh, anywhere up until the ninth grade. Is there a certification to be a preschool teacher here yes, in Nevada? Okay. Is. Well they have that certification when um, they leave this program. They have to be 18 I believe to okay. get that certification. We've had a couple of girls who, um, that I know of who have worked at preschools since they've, even while they're here. Okay. Um, but I think mostly the flavor, I believe that for most of our students, they want to be teachers. They want to be so, teachers. So go ahead. Okay, so we have a, the house concept. We have three houses. Um, in house one, that's medical and education. Right. House two is culinary and marketing. House three is IT, construction, auto, and electronics. And you've told me that here's an assistant principal's office, but you've spaced your administrative throughout the school, your administration That's right. office. So each of the administrators is over a house. Right. The students that are in a house, they share the same teachers. Right. So it kind of makes for a smaller school within our school. Right. So all of our ninth graders have the same ninth grade English teacher, the same computer okay. teacher, the same freshman studies teacher. All our tenth graders have the same social studies teacher, the same English teacher, and they're all located throughout the school. Here, it looks so, like the construction program. Right. This is a construction program, and like I said, they're uh, they're all in a field trip this week. And, so and it's pretty empty. I know your yeah your 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 you. your teachers are gone this week, but basically it looks like some CNC machines here. Um, yeah, you would know that better than. Yeah, I would. these look like CNC, <laughs> Megatronic type of machines and just skill saws, and it looks like uh, they do some cabinetry too. Yeah, that um, that that was a senior project, so they did all they wired, they cabin, right. they did everything. That was a portable kitchen. And so some of your kids maybe can go right out into the field after that's, their. That's correct. Yes, yeah. they have, yeah, they have been, um, like I said, they've been hired. Right we now. just walked into one of the um, the medical rooms here, right? And and just uh, real quick, what what is your name? I'm, I'm Dennis Ryan. So it looks like you're doing physical therapy here? I have, I teach sports medicine one, sports medicine two. Okay, and so most of your kids want to do what here? We have two programs that we end up with our kids as seniors. One is sports medicine. Okay. And those kids can go into physical therapy, occupational therapy, things like this, so they get some college education. The other thing that happens, we have a CNA program, which is a certified nursing assistant program. Okay. And those kids can get employment immediately out of high school. It's one of the few medical professions which they can get a, uh, employment out of high school. Right. They have to pass a certification exam. Sure. And then they can go on to nursing or other skilled positions. Okay. And so a lot of our things, I have, they are physical therapy or our treatment areas because we do a lot of clinical work with our kids. We try to do as much hands-on work with our kids that they're going to see in the real world. Got it. We can't bring in sick patients, so we're kind of at a loss for that. You guys work on each other? Or? We work on each other. We have some students that do internships, and we have students who do volunteer activities at hospitals. So you can see I'm up here on the balcony looking down on the school. You can see how nicely laid out it is, clean. 
and it seems the kids really respect the school and I don't see you know a lot of trash and everywhere I go the kids are really calm and uh, they look like they're working and they're on task into house two. That's correct. Okay. You are over kind of in house one kind of area, medical and education, total different personality of kids in house one. Right. Then house two. House two is our culinary and our marketing kids. They're very creative. They're very things all over the place. It's um, always stuff happening up here. Okay. It's just a different feel in house two. Okay. Great. And so this is, they're getting, this is marketing. We have event planning. We have two programs actually in our our marketing, we have um, travel and tourism and um, and then marketing, so. So what, uh, what program are we in right now? This is the auto program. Auto program. And this also has labs connected to it, or is this the lab? This is the lab. Right. This, this, and yes, this is the lab. The okay. classrooms are connected to the lab. And the cars, where do they come from? Uh, it depends, it gets a lot donated, a lot of kids who bring their cars in, Partnerships with uh, local um, auto mechanics around, right? And so he gets stuff. <laughs> yeah. Do you? They, yeah. Do you have any idea how many kids are in this program? We bring in 54 auto kids. So 54 times four. So you got about 220 kids in this program. So what do we have going on here? What's this is a mechanical technology class, and it involves anything that has to do with uh, transportation, anything that has to do with sheet metal, anything that has to do with machinery, <laughs> welding, and. Uh, so that's different than auto mechanics over here. Yeah. Okay. So you got auto mechanics going on on this side, yeah. and you got uh, mechanical technology going on here. Actually, it's all together. Oh, okay. So the kids learn it all, welding and everything, yeah. with the auto. Yeah. Wow. And what type of uh, certifications can they get here for welding? Can they get any set certification when they leave? Well, they have to go further education at the community college or higher institute. Right. And they can become uh, certified welders. They can become certified master technicians. How much more uh, education would they need to get their certification in welding, leaving the high school? Well, the high school level, it just brings them into the... The basics. The basic steps so they can go further with their... Uh, they can come out ahead better in college. Right. In community college, college. But they're still going to have to go into the community college. Yeah. Later. They won't, they couldn't go step right into the, a career out of. Well, they can get into the field. Right. As a basic learning step, but they will still have to further education if they wanted to get uh, better pay and all that. So, uh, is this all what? MIG and gas welding? We got MIG welding, gas welding. This is what? This MIG? Is portable. This is, this is all three. Okay. Arc welding, also. Arc welding. Wow. What's this kid, what's he doing here? Well, we're just cutting this box apart because uh, they donated his vehicle and we don't really need the box. Okay. So they're practicing tearing stuff apart. Right. So we can use another for the project. Wow. We have machinery. They just hooked up this, this last year.